Hey Leo, hope you guys are doing really well. Getting ready to start your reading, guys. This will be your February reading in the first half. For the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. As always, guys, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you guys, as always, for all of your continued support, your likes, your subscribes. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. Okay, Spirit, for my Leos, let's see what's coming up for you guys in love. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. All right. Leo, some initial messages for you guys. Baby mama, baby daddy drama. <laughs> okay. There could be some issues going on here. This says kids could be involved. Family issues, child support issues, custody battle issues. Dad, Leo, okay. Somebody, this is about your love life, by the way. This could be you or somebody around you here. Could be going through some kind of karma here, some kind of karmic cycle. It does say justice will be served somebody who could definitely be questioning why this is happening to them why they're having to go through this oh wow yeah because somebody here is definitely pulled back on another person it says no more chances i can't trust you you hurt me time after time lesson learned okay so is somebody pulling back on you or are you pulling back on somebody else due to these issues all right so we have oh Secret work lover. And then we have, should I stay or should I go? Huh. Okay, maybe this is someone who... Maybe this is someone who likes you from work. A secret work lover. Somebody who you're involved with from work here. Somebody here obviously had a... I don't know if someone here was in a... In a relationship, okay, that's what I want to say. Actually, maybe somebody was caught actually with another person here, all right? And now it's throwing them into some kind of court situation. It could be divorce. Like I said, it could just be like custody battles, child support, something like that. Somebody might be fighting someone tooth or nail, creating some drama because someone has maybe... Maybe they moved on to someone who they could have met at their job or something like that. Or maybe they fell in love with someone who they met at work. He says, I love that you're smart and ambitious. <clears throat> Somebody has their eyes on another person. Maybe they feel as though they make them a great or that they make a great team or that they would. And somebody here has also clearly ditched somebody else or clearly broken off from somebody else here because they feel like this person continually hurts them over and over. <sighs> I don't know what this is about. It definitely says that somebody is trying to make a decision here. Should I stay or should I go? So the ball is in someone's court. You might be dealing with someone like this, Leo, with a... <laughs> Maybe you got involved in a situation and perhaps they have all of this drama going on or this could be your drama that's going on as well. Take it as it resonates. These are the initial cards. I'm not going to be able to narrow it down until I get to um, the tarot, of course. And somebody's trying to figure out, either you or somebody else, if they need to stay <clears throat> in a situation that has all of this drama. Okay. They want to make a decision. It could also be you deciding... If you want to stay in a situation that has all of this drama here, I feel threats. I don't know why I don't have anything indicating that, but I feel it. I feel like there could be some threatening behavior here. Somebody being threatened. Maybe that is this baby mama, baby daddy drama that I see over here. Somebody here is spending some time alone. They're liking their solitude. Okay. They're really kind of withdrawing here so that they can contemplate. It looks like, and maybe trying to get... Just trying to get some, I don't know why somebody would, yeah, I guess they are trying to be objective about a situation here. Yeah, they definitely want to get clarity, I guess, on what they should do in a situation like this. Interesting. Okay. Again, we have another card that could be about work here. This is about a businessman. This is somebody who's slow to commit. This could be a boss here. 
This could have been somebody that's in the picture. Could you have fallen in love with a boss here or... <clears throat> This is somebody that will normally, this could also be a new person trying to enter the picture. Maybe that's where it says, should I stay or should I go? Somebody here may have some kind of attraction to you, or this could be the person that you were already dealing with. But I like, this person seems pretty solid, but I already feel like there might be three people in this situation anyway. Maybe you have discovered someone outside of a connection or someone connected to you has done that with you. All right, the bottom line is something has happened outside, I feel like, of a regular connection here. And it's a dramatic connection here. Leo, I don't know why I feel like this may be you, though, in terms of the karma. Look at that. You can't make it up. And then I look on the bottom. It says starting over, moving out or moving on. I'm tired of this. Yeah, maybe you're getting out of a situation here. The person you're with is getting out of a situation. Something is definitely happening here where somebody is leaving a situation behind that may have been very dramatic, a big karmic cycle for someone. It's just like this, this um, I don't know, this rat race or this hamster wheel, right? It just keeps going round and round and round, and it's just the same shit over and over. That's what I'm feeling here. You could have or definitely you could have met somebody at work. And now you're trying to get perspective on them or maybe they're trying to get it on you due to all the drama that's been around this. There's definitely a lot of frustration. I'm feeling like around this situation, though, a lot of frustration. All right, let's get some tarot and just see if I can get a better depiction here of what's involved. All right, Spirit, talk to me from my Leo Collective, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sun. Oh, Leo's energy only for this first spread. Leo's energy only. Where is Leo sitting at in all of this? All right. Leo. Very nice. Somebody's getting some kind of clarity here. Maybe this situation, something here has brought you a lot of anxiety. Could have been impacting your sleep. Um, yeah. Could have been impacting your sleep a lot, but you're coming out of that. I mean, that's what I'm seeing here. This Nine of Swords is actually, I, hate, I don't even like this card. This is like the nightmare card, right? But it is in reverse, so that gives me hope. It tells me that you might be coming out of a bad situation that created a lot of stress in your life, a lot of strife in your life here. The Nine of Cups here tells me that you may be feeling, I don't know if you're feeling romantic. Are you coming out of this situation here? Like you're feeling good about something. Wow. Twin flame energy here. This could also be moving in with the Queen of Wands. <coughs> Let's keep going. Actually, let me just lay out your spread first so I can see what is happening here. Your energy shows me that you could be feeling romantic, Leo. By the way, just see, feel free to flip up these energies. I did ask specifically for Leo's energy, but it can also be your person. Feeling romantic? Feel like maybe you want to be romantic with someone else here? Oh, wow. <laughs> these cards are really good. All right. This could be some kind of twin flame energy or soulmate energy. Someone who you feel very tied with. Uh, this could be someone who you already live with or someone who you would consider that or maybe consider marriage material here uh, material here the queen of wands energy also this now this could be your energy but i'm viewing this as well as someone who you're dealing with like the story unfolding here all right very much so this could be someone who you're dealing with that is very in charge uh, this is sag energy that could be they could like to travel. They could obviously be charismatic, very gregarious, someone who uh, takes control, inspires others. Or this could be your energy as well. I feel like this is with the Nine of Cups though, and the Queen of Wands here. I definitely feel like you are moving forward towards someone or you have someone else on your mind. You may feel like this person has a pretty deep soul bond with you with this Four of Wands energy. Six of Wands tells me that 
you're definitely looking for a victory here. And honestly, you could be a person who also is recognized. Maybe you're on a, especially if this is your Queen of Wands energy too, you could be all of those things that I just said, right? You could be sitting in all of that energy as well. And you could be very much so recognized for it. You might be a person that holds some kind of public position or public persona in some way. And people really recognize you. I'm just kind of on a pedestal a little bit. Put you on a pedestal a little bit. I'm sorry, I just dropped like seven cards. I'm going to stick them back in my deck. Maybe you have a platform. Yeah, this could have something to do with your work as well. So maybe you have some kind of public job or something that puts you kind of in the spotlight where others, where you're well respected, where you have to take the lead, okay, where you take care of others, you inspire others, and you're recognized for that in some way. It could also show me some kind of promotion or something that could very well be going on around your work as well. Oh, look. I mean, if that's the case with this ten, ten of Wands, this could definitely be telling me this will come as some kind of relief to you. I mean, with the Ten of Wands, this is usually um, a lot of burdens, but the Ten is good, right? Because the Ten is, you know, that's that's the point where we drop it so we can go back to Wands. So you may be um, on the brink, especially if you're getting some kind of recognition. Maybe that's coming in the form of some kind of... Um, I guess, increase, maybe in pay or in position or something like that, which will take a lot of burdens off of you. I do feel like you have quite a bit of burdens with what, what it, obviously, whatever it is that you're going through or whatever it is that you do here. I do see there's a three here involved. So this, you know, going back to kind of the original story here. You may feel that you're in some kind of third party too as it relates to relationship here. Obviously, this is cups here. Maybe you feel like someone else is intruding. You could be this work person meeting someone else and, and dealing with their baby mama drama or baby daddy drama over here. Something to that effect. You definitely feel like someone is impeding uh, on this situation. Maybe you're trying to keep your head down, stay focused, keep it in your work as well. But this might actually be someone who you care about a lot or someone who you feel like you could have potentially marriage with or you see in that way. All right, see what else. Now, if this is you up here, the initial person here, okay, You could feel that, I mean, you could obviously be dealing with another fire sign as well, or a water sign here. Maybe this is someone who you do live with, all right? Um, maybe somebody here does get a lot of attention here, all right? Especially uh, when you're at work, or because we did see some kind of work. We saw that twice, actually. Secret work lover and the businessman here, the boss. Okay, so maybe you are the boss or somebody else is the boss here. The bottom line is we definitely see there is some kind of attachment to work here for some reason. So a third party could have been introduced through a workplace as well. That could have created a lot of wands here. And it could also be driving some kind of drama here is what I'm feeling. All right, let's see what else. Tell me who or what this is. That is coming up as the drama in Leo's life. What is this about? Okay, so this is definitely some kind of family situation. Or what is this? Somebody wants to revive some kind of family situation here. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse here. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay, so somebody is trying to revive something when it comes to a family situation here. Okay, so maybe this is trying to piece a family back together in some way. The problem is we have people that are very cut off here emotionally. Maybe avoiding the real problems here. Avoiding... The real issues that has created this to begin with. Yeah, these are not. Look, I saw a loan up here, which I can appreciate. I'm not sure which party here, because we did have three, has to do with this here. 
but it looks like somebody hasn't been willing to really go and look for the answers or do any of the soul search and do any of the work. Instead, they may come across pretty detached, okay, and like they don't want to see the problem in some way here, all right? I think with the Six of Pentacles, I really wanted to focus on that for a moment because when I see that, generally that is that can be equal reciprocity, but it can also be breadcrumbing. I think someone definitely feels breadcrumbed in this situation here and the Knave of Swords here, yeah. All right, so with the, the Knight of Swords, I'm definitely getting that, yeah, somebody in this situation, this is the person that is around you. I'm, I'm talking about the drama person, right? And their energy that is coming towards you. Maybe you have felt breadcrumbed by a person that's not been willing to do their work, that comes across a bit detached. Okay, this is a person that may very well be wanting some kind of resurrection with you as well. But this person is very cutting with their words. They're dishonest. They can be very cutthroat is what I'm getting here, okay? Very forceful even trying to get what it is that they want. This could be a person that is very inconsistent in your life as well or maybe inconsistent with their actions in your life. In essence, it could be really moody, honestly, and kind of fly off the handle about stuff. And you're getting a lot of reverse cards here. Now we have the Knave of Wands. Wow. All right, this could... <laughs> This could be a person in a bit of player energy as well, all right? A person that is pretty free with a body, with a booty, <laughs> all right? Um, Dad, look at this. What? Uh -uh. All right, so we got a lot of passion here. This is definitely a person that may use passion or may chase passion quite a bit here. They don't give a whole lot. Maybe they're, they, even the way that they message could be inconsistent. I think this is a person, to be honest with you, I definitely feel a level of inconsistency with them for some reason here. I just feel like this person, they don't give a lot. That's what I feel. I don't know if they're not trying. I don't know if they're messaging. Um, consistently or maybe they didn't message consistently there's definitely a lack of consistency uh, consistency see here but the biggest thing that i see here is somebody that's not true okay so somebody here i feel like somebody here yeah they're just way too free i think I, I, honestly they're more consumed with sex that's what it looks like to me okay sex pleasures there's not a lot of emotion here all right in fact you're not seeing any emotion here from the except for the fact that this could be a family situation here all right this person seems more consumed all right with um kind of worldly things i'll just say it that way okay they're not really this is not spiritual or kind of a loving or emotional nature this is more of a physical nature um, what makes me feel good in the moment. Definitely a lot of sexual pleasures here. Very inconsistent. Um, they could text sometimes. They could not text sometimes. They could answer you sometimes. They could not sometimes. Um, it's just not as serious, I feel like, situation. Or they're making it feel that way. And then, of course, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Definitely not an invested person. All right. So maybe who you're dealing with is coming across very uninvested. All right. Or they've been very um, incongruent in terms of their actions here when it comes to you. If this is who you're dealing with here. Hmm. All right. Let me grab another deck real quick. So I want to know. Oops. I have a feeling this is due to some kind of third party situation. Maybe this is you then saying I've had enough okay no more chances i can't trust you you continue to hurt me um, i'm tired of the drama and turning your attention potentially to this new love or maybe you caught somebody in some kind of secret love let's see You may be coming out of a situation like this, and I say that because I do see that your Nine of Swords 
So you might have been really stressed out about something before, but it's almost like you've just given it up. All right. So how does this person feel truly about Leo, though? How do they feel? What is that? My swords again. Oh, that's the king, actually. All right. Very detached. <laughs> Very detached here, but honestly, the King of Swords upright is is obviously someone who's very assertive, quite intelligent, someone that can come across a bit unemotional, pretty detached emotionally. Oh wow! And then the Queen of Swords. If you're dealing with an air sign or with someone that's in this King of Swords energy, they may be they may be just trying to assess you in some way. Somebody there, somebody is being viewed here. Is very cut off. Somebody is being viewed off here or viewed here is very detached, certainly emotionally. Um, someone who is very cutting again with their words. We're seeing a lot of mental energy here, a lot of swords energy here. You could also be do, uh, dealing with a queen of swords here as well. Or they could be viewing you in this energy. Somebody feels like the other person cannot be trusted. Okay. Again, I'm going to go back. I don't know why I keep talking about cutting. Okay, very cutting. Somebody might fly off the handle. They could cut someone out. They could condemn someone a lot, belittle them a lot is what I'm feeling here. We have one person here, very studious, very much so trying to um, assert themselves, I feel, but kind of look at all. This is a person that's very fact-oriented, a king of swords upright. Okay, maybe look at all the facts, look at everything that has kind of taken place. They feel, whoever this Queen of Swords energy is, that they cannot be trusted for sure. Now, this could be a match, okay? Definitely some kind of soulmate. It could have been a karmic soulmate or something like that. Oh, well, yeah. All right, well, hang on. Is it the four or the six? I can't see it upside down. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so that's the four. Yeah, so there may not be a lot of talking right now, or maybe you got two people that are definitely holding back information, holding back affection, holding back emotions here. Yeah, maybe trying to ascertain some kind of uh, clarity here. Maybe you have someone here that's wanting to have a brand new start as well. It could very well be you outside of this connection, just maybe due to what is happening, especially if you're dealing with this Queen of Swords energy. In reverse, I think, you know, this has to do with the lies. I think maybe someone feels like a lot of information has been held back here. Somebody could also be concerned that, that some kind of clarity is coming to the forefront or that this is happening due to some kind of clarity that someone has finally reached. Maybe someone has finally seen another person for who they are or... Maybe they feel like they finally have the truth on a situation here that involved others as well. Some kind of truth is coming to the surface here. It could be concerning some kind of Knight of Cups here. So we have a younger energy coming in. All right, this could be a water sign here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, yeah, it could be about another love situation. Maybe someone feels that you have moved on to another love situation here. Maybe you feel this in regards to someone else here. I'm asking how they feel, though, about you. Maybe they feel like you have moved on to another situation, okay, a romantic situation. Maybe you've accepted an offer from someone else here because... Well, probably because they were acting like an asshole. <laughs> probably because they were holding back. Something's going on here. Okay. Now, if this is, if they're feeling this way about you, maybe they feel like you've been holding back. But see, there's a real problem here. If they're feeling like this queen of swords is you in reverse, if it were upright, I would assume they would think, okay, well, you're just cutting them out, which would probably be logical. All right. But in reverse, that's not a good card at all. It's not a good energy to be in. So I'm thinking this is probably you. And then they're viewing this whole situation like this. You could have very well caught this person with some. That's why it says no more chances. I can't trust you. You hurt me time after time. Lessons learned. 
somebody has learned their lesson. Somebody is not dealing with that. Somebody is cutting somebody out. And maybe they're seeing you as somebody who is going in a new direction. Perhaps you've already hooked up with somebody brand new here that you are entertaining uh, other new people. Okay. Other people that are offering you love, that are offering you romance in some way. And I feel like this is a real burden on this person because somebody here definitely feels like the wounded warrior. Okay. Yeah, they definitely feel like they're the wounded warrior uh, in some way. They could also feel like you're going to be very, very guarded towards them just based on what has happened here in the past. Yeah, I think, you know what, I'm thinking that you may have new love because I see the Knight of Cups here and then I also see this businessman here. This is someone who will take care of you, only want, you know, one person in their life. It says man, man, woman, or whatever. And will be very attracted to you as well. So this may very well be someone else that's showing you attention at this time. I mean, outcomes for it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, what I'm seeing here. Now, this is the outcome. I don't know if you were dealing with somebody here that was pretty... Let me actually, let me get an outcome here, please, for Leo. Look at that. Oh, I don't like it, Leo. I think, honestly, some shit. I just did it. Well, by the way, I just did a collective reading, which kind of had these hints of devil energy all over them. Okay. It was definitely reeking of somebody needing to change here. Um, they were, I'm going to say this to you because there was a King of Wands, which is my card for Leo. So if this is some of you guys, you might want to take a look at it. Um, you know, if the, if it is, then obviously you don't want to continue going down the same path over and over. Okay. Change has to happen if you want your life to get better. All right. Even if it's changing the people around you, okay, it could be changing yourself, but also changing um, what is around you. Just take it as it resonates, okay? So you can get more in the flow of things. Um, I can see here there's a real wanting, okay, a real yearning maybe for equal reciprocity, okay? Um, I do feel there's there's very greedy energy that maybe may still be around you, okay? Um, hopefully this is not you because the king of uh, coins in reverse to me is someone who's very greedy, very consumed, okay, with material wealth, will do whatever it takes, step on any heads they need to, to try and get ahead. They will even do things, okay, that could be illegal. So it could also be showing me something happening really that could very well be illegal, all right, to get to that. This is a this is definitely a person not worried about somebody else. I don't see any emotions in this reading. This is my concern, okay? Um, and then I have the Knight of Coins. This is somebody who is really working hard to kind of get ahead. So this could be somebody around you. Remember, I just said there may be a need to get some people, some things, some activities out of your life that are holding you down, okay? Um and then I see a lot of devil energy. So this is what I'm going to say to you, okay? If this is you, all right, you could be given a lot of time, a lot of effort, you feel like, to other people, all right, feeling like you're not getting what you need back. You could kind of be consuming yourself with money, okay, with coins, with getting ahead. Hopefully that is not you. I, I feel like for some of you, that's definitely going to be somewhat, some around you. But if I'm being honest, for some of you, that will be you, all right? Maybe you do work hard. Maybe you feel like you put in a lot of hours, okay? And and you just want to kind of be recognized or you want to get what you feel like you deserve here in this situation. But there's a lot of devil energy around this. This could be obsession with it. This could be the financial aspects of it, okay? This could also be um, attachment to some dark stuff, okay? So maybe there could be addictions or other things like that that are coming into play here. Definitely feeling a big obsession. And look at the end. We have the Ace of Pentacles here, all right? Somebody is needing to have some kind of new start. But the, again, this may be you focusing very hard on just getting out of a situation perhaps and starting something very new. You have to break this, Whatever this devil energy is that is around you, Leo, it is keeping you 
stuck. Okay, now I'm thinking that that reading that I just done will have aspects of Leo in there. So make sure that you're watching that. Um, if this resonates with you at all, okay, I can see that you want to have, you know, a new investment. Maybe you want to start a business here. Maybe you want to start a new life. Maybe you want to move out of whatever all of this is, but you got to be willing to let these things go. If there are addictions or toxicities or obsessions or, you know, a lot of anxiety, you know, mental stuff, all of that can obviously weigh into the devil energy, feeling like you are hopelessly attached to something. You have to be willing to let that go if you want to have some kind of relief here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's what I'm getting for you. Now, I started this reading like it was going to be a reading for your love situation. I want to almost say that your relationships or your situationships, the things that are around you, has kind of brought you to this point. I think you may be on the verge of some kind of change. That may be why you're spending time alone here. That may be why you are contemplating. All right, you can have this brand new start. The Ace of Coins is a beautiful card, all right, because it's a brand new start that's based in stability. But you have to be willing to release the things that are holding you down from get the or from getting this. So just remember that. All right, let's go into. To be honest, I'm not even going to focus on love anymore because I don't feel like that's where spirit has went with this. I think you've had a difficult time with that. And it's almost like let's get out of that. Let's get out of that toxicity so that we can push you uh, towards something more fruitful. <clears throat> so all right so let's get some cards here it says protect what you love it is your duty and your responsibility i think that kind of goes back to this right here oh she's actually cuddling a puppy i just saw that how beautiful all right so protect the things that are so think about a dog that's companionship that's loyalty that's of course um, this, this undying loyalty, really this friendship, right? This unwavering friendship. So protect that, protect your self love, protect the things about you that really matter to you. All right. Um, integrity. I've, I feel like in this reading, somebody may have even abused that within you, tried to take that away from you, spoken down to you, demean you in some way. I don't like any of that. Okay. So I think you have to really stand up for yourself, which Leo's usually don't have an issue doing. So stand up for yourself and make sure that you're not dealing with that shit, even if it means getting people out of your life. What else? Hang on. I thought something flew. Oh, there it is. Follow your vision. Okay. Never lose sight of what is really important. Beautiful. I think that speaks for itself. It's what we just got through saying. And it says, feel the power of your blood and your ancestors. You are not alone. So this is fantastic because the card up here literally says alone, which we need that too, right? We need time and solitude to really think things through. I just think this is confirmation letting you know, listen, you're not alone. You're stronger than you think. You don't have to live in this chaos. You can pull out of it. You do deserve that. And by the way, you have the full weight of your bloodline and your ancestors helping you. Okay. Don't feel, I mean, don't be afraid to ask them for that help. Don't be afraid to pray. I feel like you do, but don't be afraid to do that. And also call them in and ask them to help you move forward into a better situation. I do think something that is waiting for you. All right. And it's a new start. And I think that it will be abundant for you, but it's almost, it's like, I don't know if you've been in some kind of lack mentality or you feel like, listen, I work, work, work. Things aren't, aren't coming to be. So you're just heavily focused on this thing, financial gain, well, something along those lines, but it's almost like you got to come out of that. It's almost like surrender so that you can actually get true financial gain here. Okay. And true stability. So, all right, Leo, listen, I'm going to leave it right there for you guys. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. If it does, please don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you guys again. Have a good night.